follow you as a new fan. Sincerely, Shannon and best wishes in the Miss Earth Slovenia 2000 contestant. Uh, thank you so much, Shannon. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. It's also written in the caption. It's uh, Adriana O. And you can also follow me on um, follow me on Facebook. Uh, it's Adriana Oistashek. So uh, I also have a page just for as a Miss Earth uh, Slovenia finalist. So uh, you can follow me there. Okay. Um, next question is okay. I fixed the camera. I'm very sorry about that. Um, how do you set goals uh, from yourself? Uh, so, I'm a very goal-oriented person. I always set myself some goals and I always make a, a time period when I want to, uh, when I want to complete this goal. Uh, so, usually I just make some priorities. Uh, what do I really want at this time? What is the best for me? Uh, if I even have time to do this? Maybe this is um, like a school project. Maybe this is like Miss Earth Slovenia competition. Uh, I always have some projects, some goals. And I think it's very important for me to organize myself so I have enough time to do all the obligations I have and of course to always head towards this goal because um, it's very important that when you set a goal that you stick to it, that you go t to the end. I know that sometimes it can be very hard, sometimes um sometimes it gets yeah it gets hard you don't have time for it but you need that motivation um and uh, it's important that you go till the end and uh, i'm also very glad that i'm competing for miss earth slovenia 2020 i think it's an amazing project i think all the organization and the team is really amazing i really respect them all they are very hard working and this is also one of my goal to be the best here on this competition to do the best to uh, make life better to uh, change the world and um, yeah <laughs> i think that's the answer to your question thank you let me see if we have any other comments mm, when should a person listen and when should a person speak okay that's a very good question thank you Harley I think that yeah, sometimes when we are communicating with people, it's very hard to know exactly when you should speak and when you should uh, be quiet. I think that it's very important, especially when debating about some important topic, to always listen to, uh, to opponent to always uh, listen what they have to say, what arguments they have and to of course respect their answers because I think that respect is uh, a very important thing here to listen and to respect and not to interrupt someone but it's also good to speak when you have, uh, when you have um, something important to say it's always important to express your feelings, to uh, tell you, to tell uh, other people what you think, to express um, your thoughts, um, to tell others what your opinion is. I think it's very important that, yeah, like I said, you express yourself, that you don't hold your emotions in when you have to say something. And uh, yeah, I think in this situation it's very important 
uh, like I said before, to um, communicate uh, and to be patient with other people uh, and not to interrupt others and of course to express yourself uh, even if you have a different opinion that the, that the other opponent. Thank you for the question. Mm, okay. Hello from Philippines. Hello, Rin. Okay. Um, define success, dear, is also one of the questions. Uh, okay, for me, success is um, to be motivated all the time. For me, success is um, to be good in school, to have a good education. For me, education is very important. Um, right now, I'm uh, doing my master's degree in pharmacy and I also have a degree in chemical engineering. So education is, I think, the key. It's super important. It's important that you have your own opinion, that you're in intelligent, because this is something that is yours. Nobody can take intelligence and knowledge away from you. So I think that one key to being successful is to have a good education and um, of course to be true to yourself. It's also very important that you are organized so you can do all the things that you have to do. So um, it's also important that you set some goals, that you set some timetable. Uh, so you can complete your tasks easier. It's very important, of course, to uh, have uh, also a, a good mindset. I think being positive and um, being uh, positive oriented is very important because I can see that sometimes when I'm negative or when I'm putting myself down that I'm also not as successful as when I'm, you know, positive, in a good mood, when I feel optimistic, when I feel good about myself. So I think that mindset and mental health is also a very important thing when we are talking about success. And of course, um, setting a timetable, being organized, being motivated all the time. I think those are the keys to success. Thank you for the question. Okay, I think we have some other questions. How should a person respond to criticism? Okay, I'm sorry. So I think there are two types of criticism. There is a good and a bad criticism. And I think um, criticism can sometimes be very good because it gives you um, it gives you some uh, thoughts that you think about yourself, and sometimes you really uh, you really realize that oh yeah, I really am not perfect on this area. I really. I should change that. So I think that criticism can be very good because you can improve through it. You can learn so many things. Um, you can become a better person. But it can be also bad when, for example, your parents or someone that you really love gives you a lot of negative comments and then uh, you feel like they are pushing you down. So you can... Uh, through this become, you know, uh, very self-conscious, uh, you can become more negative um, you, or you can become, for example, more shy in some uh, social, um, in some uh, social activities. So criticism can also be bad, especially if it comes from the people you love. I have some experience when I was little, I, get, I got a lot of negative comments uh, from my parents. I know that they didn't mean to be, you know, so critical and negative towards me, but they, it was just like their 
way of communication so I think that it really affected me when I was younger when I was a teenager because I was really self-conscious about myself I didn't have a lot of confidence I was always feeling you know like the gray mouse in the group and I think that it in some way held me back to express my full potential so yeah like I said I think it sometimes can be very good because you can improve uh, you can change some things about you that are not perfect that are not the best so yeah like I said you can become a better person but it can also be bad if it comes from wrong person and it then affects your confidence thank you for the question okay how will you promote tourism in the middle of this pandemic uh thank you harley for your question uh so yeah if you know anything about slovenia slovenia is a very tiny country in the middle of europe we are well known for um you know having a little sea, having some mountains, having uh, a lot of forest. Uh, I think that it's in our country, it's really a lot of nature. Uh, it's really, um, how to say, a healthy country. We don't have big cities. We are more farm people so um, usually when people come to Slovenia they say that you know here is really calming uh, it's not a lot of stress here people are nice we have good food and everything um, and actually our capital city is called Ljubljana and uh, I'm live streaming from Ljubljana now it's uh, like I said our capital city but yeah, through this pandemic, it will be harder to promote tourism. Uh, I must say that Slovenia uh, has a lot of tourism, especially here in the capital city and of course uh, in the sea and in the mountains. So it will of course affect it because uh, less people are moving around, less people are flying with planes, people are scared to go to other countries or uh, go to uh, other continents because of this pandemic. So, you know, it's much less tourism right now than um, it was before and it's, it's affecting us financially and um, of course, if I become next Miss Earth 2020 Slovenia, I will promote tourism, but through the camera, you know, <laughs> because uh, the competition will be held virtually. I will be here in Slovenia for the whole time and I will, uh, you know, make some videos. I already made an eco video where I promoted eco lifestyle um, at home uh, because I'm living on a farm and I'm also actually thinking about making another video um, which will be uh, held here in Ljubljana. I will probably make it tomorrow um, because I think that I should also promote our capital city. It's very beautiful and uh, right now I know that it's very sad because you can't really travel because it's not safe but I will try to make some videos about some very beautiful places here in Slovenia and I hope that uh, you will watch it and when this thing uh, gets better you can also um, you can also come here to Slovenia we can all meet and have some nice time together Thank you for the question. Um, okay. Oh, hello, Zani. Um, okay, Harley is asking me what is the biggest problem that Mother Earth is facing. Okay, so I think that there are there is not just one problem, but there are many many different problems. Um, one is of course. Um, the uh, that 
the nature is polluted. Uh, we throw a lot of trash and um, a lot of things in the nature and it makes our water and our uh, earth polluted and because of that some animals die um, it even affects people because people can get sick people can die from it because um, if there are some tox toxic things in the water or in the ground or even in the air it can go you know um, in uh, our bodies through the lungs through our mouth and you know it is very toxic for our body so our body can get sick so I think the biggest problem is pollution uh, I think that um, it's very bad because um, the water, the sea, the rivers, they are polluted um, with uh, chemicals, with some toxins and it's very sad when I see some pictures online on the internet uh, where I see, you know, like dead animals, dead fishes, dead birds and it really makes me sad because I know that people are the reason this is happening so um, I'm really hoping that this whole situation with pollution will get better I think um, the situation is good because uh, people are uh, on social media more people read articles I think that uh, there is a lot of uh, talking about environment right now. Uh, you can see almost everywhere articles and videos about uh, environment and how to save our planet. So I think we are making a good progress in that direction. I think people are getting more aware of the environmental problems that we have. So I think we are in the good way to the better future, but we have to take actions. We have to, you know, act smart. We have to be careful when, um, when throwing away things, when um, we have to, you know, re reuse and recycle as much as possible because, yeah, for me the pollution is the main thing um, that is our planet facing right now because it also affects humans, it also affects plants, it affects animals and I really don't want any human being or any other being to die because of this pollution. Um, so I'm really hoping that uh, things will get better. Um, there are also some special devices that are cleaning the water. Um, there are there are many um, actions taken in this area to you know to clean the sea, to clean the waters um, that is polluted. And I think that also this pandemic sometimes might be good because there is less um, there is less plane traffic which is actually the uh, the biggest problem it's uh, it's a very big uh, cause of pollution um, with planes and with uh, cars and everything so I think also this pandemic might in some way be good because I think that people realized now you know how fragile we are how uh, how uh, how a tiny thing can affect our lives how it can lead to death so um, it might be also a good thing and we are at a great start we're heading towards a better future and um, as Miss Earth Slovenia 2020 finalists I'm encouraging everyone to you know reuse reduce uh, and of course to live an eco and healthy lifestyle thank you let's see what we have who is your inspiration in joining miss earth who do you look after thank you harley away uh, again for the question 
So I actually, like a year ago, I didn't know much about Miss Earth. I didn't even know that we had this competition in Slovenia because uh, here it's only for a few years now. Uh, so actually the uh, manager of uh, the organization told me to you know to join Miss Earth pageant and I was like wow that's uh, it sounds great but you know I don't think I'm beautiful enough I don't think I'm good enough for this uh, pageant so I was thinking for a while should I join it or not but then I decided you know I think this will be a great experience. I think I will learn a lot from it. So then I decided to uh, compete and I'm so glad that I did it because I gained so much confidence. I learned so many things. Um, you know, everyone there in our organization is very nice. They are helping us and um, I really have all the best. To tell about them. Uh, I think my inspiration right now is um, our current Miss Earth 2019, Sharni Bion Bono. I think she's really an amazing person. Uh, she's very nice. She's uh, all, always willing to help. She always um, has time to help you, to give you some encouragement, to give you some compliments. I think she's very nice and uh, I really want to be more like her because like I said she is nice and friendly and um, I love her smile and when she puts her crown uh, on her head she she's just super she's you know very bright and uh, I really I really love her look and how she uh, makes me feel good about myself. Thank you for the question. What is your eye opener? Why you join Miss Earth Slovenia? Well, one thing is, uh, of course, that Miss Earth is a pageant that is also um, environmental, and I think this was one of the things that made me realize that I want to be part of it because it's not just the beauty it's not just you know being pretty smiling waving your hand but it's also a lot about intelligence it's um, we had so many challenges um, it's also about appearance communication helping the nature helping the environment and I think um, that Miss Earth uh, pageant is really different from others because of all uh, these challenges we are facing here. It's not enough just to be beautiful, but you also have to uh, show what you're made of to, you know, to be intelligent, to be educated. It's important that uh, you can stand up for yourself, that... Um, you know that you communicate good that you all also do many things for the environment and yeah i think this was the main reason that i joined miss earth thank you for the question um if you will invent a vac vaccine for mother earth what will this vaccine be and why well <laughs> as i said before i'm actually uh studying pharmacy so I might really in the future uh, or in few years invent a vaccine or some uh, uh, medicine uh, that also you might use. <laughs> but right now I think we really need a vaccine for this uh, pandemic for COVID-19 because uh, every day I'm reading those articles, I'm reading those news um, where it says how many people died, which countries are alarmed, which countries, um, you know, uh, are dangerous um, and it really is affecting our lives badly because also uh, the eco economy is getting uh, worse, many 
people lost their jobs, many people can't work right now, uh, many people get sick and uh, they can't, you know, maybe visit their family or something. So this pandemic is really affecting everyone in many kind of ways. So I really want to uh, to make a vaccine for this COVID so it will uh, stop. Uh, and um, I really want uh, that earth and the world is as it was before uh, this pandemic, you know. I, I also think that it might be a good thing because um, so many people realized um, many mistakes they did before. Uh, maybe I think that our nature uh, will be will get a little clean because less people are traveling, less people are uh, outside. So it's I think it's also a good thing for the environment. But in general, I really want um, this virus to go away so we can all live a normal and healthy life. So I really want to make a medicine for this and help millions of people. Thank you. Next question. Yes, yeah, Zani is, is saying that Sharni is cool. Yes, uh, Sharni, our last year's uh, winner, she's really great. She's so nice. And uh, I'm so grateful that uh, she's here for all of us. She always has um, some advice to give us girls, and she's really an amazing and positive person. Okay, let me see. Mm, if I have other comments, uh, if the river runs dry, what do you think should be the priority of the community to preserve its ecosystem? Okay, that is actually a very tricky and hard question. If the river runs dry, I think that the first thing would be, of course, to save the animals that were there so I think that one option is to you know get the ecosystem so the animals and the plants uh, to some uh, how to say that um, to um, to a place that is made by humans but there are um, but there are the same um the same uh, like the same temperature the same air and everything as in the river so it's kind of a um kind of a uh your this is really a hard question um so it's like a fake ecosystem where um where uh, they can survive and I also think that um, there might be a lot of I, I, environmental scientists that uh, should take care of, you know, uh, preserving uh, that river to maybe uh, put in um, some water and in this case also the ecosystem will uh, survive. Okay. Um, let's see what we have. Okay, Angelina is asking me why I should win. Well, I think um, I was working really hard uh, this year for Miss Earth Slovenia. We had so many challenges. We had like um, talent show, we had some uh, eco project, we, ha we had to make some eco dress, so I was really working very hard to um, get good points on these challenges. Uh, usually it took me like a month to prepare for um, one of these challenge and I think I was really working hard. Um, another thing is that I'm also very well educated. Um, I'm already 24 years old and uh, right now I'm doing my master's in pharmacy. I already have a degree. 
Um, so I have a lot of education and I think that education is very important here in this uh, pageant because uh, you need um, a lot of knowledge about environment, you need good communication skills and I think um, I'm maybe better in this than uh, some girl who is much younger than me. Um, I also think that, um, you know, I'm the kind of person that is always very motivated. I always set some goals for me that I want to accomplish. Um, and um, the good thing about me is I think that I don't give up because I'm always yeah i have to uh, conquer this uh, goal i have to make this happen i can't fail um i want to go straight you know i can't look back uh, i think that i have that uh winning mindset because i really don't give up i always find a solution i'm always trying to you know be a better person to uh become a better to do things that are goal oriented i'm always pushing myself towards and i think this is um really one good characteristic things i also think that um i'm uh, organized i'm uh, nice i'm trying to you know be nice to everyone um i'm trying to um, also help other people, especially young girls who have some uh, self-esteem problems. I also want to help the environment and I'm willing to plant some trees to make some, um, to make some actions towards the nature, to write some articles, to shoot some videos where I'm introducing myself, um, where I'm promoting our country, our tourism, our nature. So I think those are a few things that make me um, a good candidate for the win. Thank you for the question. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay, Angelina is also asking me who is my role model. I think that is a very good question because I get this question a lot and I'm not really sure how to answer it. Um, I'm not really sure who my role model is because I think that role models are always changing through the years. When I was younger, my role model, uh, role model, for example, was my mother. Then it became maybe my friend. Then uh, maybe some celebrity. So it always changes. I don't think that I have. I can say that I have a role model that I ha have for a few years now. But right now, I think um, when I'm competing for this Miss Earth uh, pageant, that my role might be might be Charny because um, she's the winner of 2019 uh, competition and I really want to be like her. I really want to be in her position. Uh, I really want to do everything possible to achieve what she achieved last year. Uh, I want to be more like her, to be so confident, to be so positive, to be so nice about everything. Uh, so yeah, I think that the right now in this moment, my role model is um, uh, yeah, is Shane Biombono, our uh, last year's winner. Thank you for the question. Mm, okay. Let me see if we have some other questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I think uh, so far I asked all the questions. If you have uh, more questions, just uh, ask me. Just put the question down below. If you have any other comment, any maybe complain, uh, just uh, type it um, there. I hope I'm doing great. I'm usually very nervous <laughs> in front of a camera being uh, live um, so I'm really trying to uh, be better to become better in this um, situation because uh, it's very important for Miss uh, Earth competitor to have you know good communication skills to um, to know English uh, good to you know communicate good with other people so um, I'm really trying and I hope I will uh, also have some of live chats in the future so I can practice this um, live performance mm, but now I can see we still have like 10 minutes left so Mm, uh, like I said, I can tell you a bit more about Miss Earth Slovenia competition. Uh, so this year is, it's also gonna be virtually. Um, it's gonna be in uh, September. So this is in one month and I'm actually a bit nervous um, because I think the, right now there is some tension between the girls uh, we don't know uh, who's gonna win uh, and we are really doing our best trying to be the best versions of ourselves uh, of ourselves trying to um, you know get some attention um, and to make uh, the biggest efforts to win uh, so I must say that I'm really um, kind of nervous right now because just one month left and um, I'm really hoping to uh, do my best to get the best score um, of course I'm hoping to win I will be so glad because my dreams would come true um, but yeah I will also be uh, happy with some um, other um, uh, with some other um, uh, other things and uh, like I said we had many challenges through this year uh, one of the challenge was uh, for example talent show where I prepared a uh, dance uh, I actually combined five different dances and five different uh, songs in one combination and uh, I think I did great because you know I was uh, doing um, also some costume changes in between and uh, I think it was really an interesting show uh, then we also had a talk show when we were discussing some environmental topics like uh, recycling and uh, microplastics and other environmental problems. Uh, I think uh, this challenge was um, really good because it uh, made us express ourselves, it uh, made us um, di discuss some topics that are really important. So I think that um, it's really good that this pageant is not just about beauty, but it's also about intelligence, uh, about expressing um, your opinions and um, talking about uh, things and themes that are environmental. Um, then we also had one business challenge where we were actually promoting um, a product. It's like a special filter that you put on uh, your water pipe. So um, when you put it on, the water is like cleaner. It has a better taste. Uh, it has no smells. And uh, we were actually promoting this product. It's, ma it's actually made in Slovenia. I'm also using it and I must say it's... Uh, it's really good because I can see the quality 
of water uh, that I drink is much better. Uh, then we also had Eco Project. Uh, I actually uh, won on this challenge. Uh, I decided to make a uh, 20 day uh, Eco Challenge, uh, which means that for 20 days each day I uh, made um, one Eco, like one small Eco Project that I thought that everyone can do at home. So I really um, made like a whole challenge of it. I wanted to show everyone that being eco and living an eco lifestyle is really simple. It doesn't take a lot of effort um, and it, it's not that hard to be eco. So um, for example, the first day I tried to show everyone how to uh, properly recy uh, recycle and then um, I also showed everyone how to prepare you know some eco cosmetics like uh, eco facial mask, eco body scrub, um, uh, I prepared uh, even uh, some of these products for other girls and I gave them this as gifts. I also um, encourage everyone to eat healthier, to prepare their food at home, to prepare eco meals from eco uh, plants, eco fruits, eco vegetables that are uh, prepared on the farm. Um, I also uh, try to encourage everyone to use um, eco transport like bikes, um, or go somewhere by walking, not taking a car. Uh, one um, day I also made like a small cleaning challenge uh, where I decided to clean this area beside uh, my block where I live. I actually um, saw that uh, near that building there's a lot of trash uh lying outside in the grass so i just decided you know to clean this trash to make you know um to make this um piece of uh, nature uh, more beautiful um and i was also researching you know which kind of uh, light bulbs are best uh, I was researching, um, you know, what uh, is the best option for example, heating your house and uh, things like that. I also made some eco decorations, some uh, eco meals, uh, like I said, eco cosmetics. So I was really for 20 days um, doing my best to do one eco thing every day and I really wanted to show everyone how easy it is to be eco, to have this lifestyle, how easy it is to be healthy because sometimes people are thinking, oh this, uh, you know, being eco, it's so expensive, it's so hard, I don't know really how to do it, but in reality it's really easy so I really wanted to encourage everyone that with those small steps that you can do every day we can make a huge difference for the whole world and the whole the whole community and actually our last challenge uh, that we had um, previous month was uh, eco dress I actually made um, an eco dress that was made from um, recycled material um, and um, I have to say I was actually preparing the, this dress for a few months it was really a hard work uh, a lot of people helped me especially some uh, old uh, ladies I think that uh, eight ladies helped me with this dress and it was really a big and long project. Uh, it was actually a long dress with some flowers on it that uh, was made out of um, the material for stockings. 
if you know um, women who are you know wearing skirts and then underneath they wear those stockings and we actually made flowers out of these uh, stockings and they were like in green and red and yellow colors so it was uh, really a hard project but I think we did it great because uh, when I showed everyone the dress they were all um, congratulating me how uh, amazing it looks and I also had uh, something on my shoulders um, I must say actually the dress was not so comfortable to wear it was very heavy um, but I was really proud of myself to you know put together this project and I really think uh, I made a great uh, dress um, so yeah and uh, now we have you know here it's summer uh, we are having some holidays some vacations and um, in one month in September uh, we are gonna have the virtual final evening uh, where uh, where they will tell us who the winner is so we still have one month to prepare and to do our best and um, I really hope to improve. Um, I'm really glad for all the comments you gave me, also for critics, also for um, for good positive compliments that you gave me. I'm really so uh, grateful for your opinion. I hope that I did great. Um, I'm still a bit nervous in front of the camera um and uh, i really hope to improve this to be you know more confident to have a better english to communicate better so i'm really working on that so thank you so much for your patience uh thank you really for all the comments for all the questions uh you really made me think and um some questions were actually really hard so uh, I hope I answered good, um, I hope that you like me and um, I'm encouraging everyone to follow me on my social media, on Instagram and on Facebook, it's actually in the de description you can see my Instagram account. Also uh, in September we are gonna have some uh, internet voting and I would be so so grateful if uh, you are gonna vote for me there um, and of course uh, I hope that you follow me on social media where I post uh, some photos I will also do some more videos um, I hope that you already saw my eco video that I made uh, last week and tomorrow um, I have planned to also shoot a video here in our capital of Slovenia in Ljubljana um, so I will probably release the video this week and I really hope you will enjoy it <laughs> uh, so if you have any more questions any more comments you are welcome to ask me to tell me because our uh, time is actually uh, running up uh, we are already talking here for like an hour so i will uh, slowly finish but if you have anything to say if you have any more questions uh, you can ask it you can even you know add me on social media and ask me uh, anything you want um, I'm so glad that uh, a lot of you gathered here today that you listened to me <laughs> I hope um, I did great uh, like I said I still have to learn I still uh, need some practice but um, I'm I'm going through uh, through my goal, I'm uh, trying uh, hard, I'm learning every day, I'm trying to be a better ver version of myself and I think that's the point, you know, to 
not to always win but to make progress to go towards your goal uh, not to give up to have the motivation even if you fall you have to get up even if you make a fool of yourself you know just stand up straight smile and uh, go forward because it's really about the mindset I think if you have the right mindset then also uh, all the good things uh, are coming to your life and uh, you are achieving uh, the things that you wanted to achieve and I really think that this positive mindset is the key to success okay so if there is uh, no more questions uh, I will slowly end this uh, live stream I hope you enjoyed it uh, like I said please follow me on Instagram and social media you can ask me anytime anything you want um, I really hope that this pandemic um, will go away soon so uh, because I really want to visit Philippines I really want you to come here to Slovenia it's an amazing country I want to meet you all and um, I'm really looking forward to this pandemic to be over to you know to travel again to meet you guys to uh, you know to come to Philippines I really think you have an amazing country uh, I was really wishing this year to win just to come to the Philippines but since this situation the competition is gonna be virtually so um, that's a shame I will have to stay here in Slovenia but I really hope to one day come to your country to see how beautiful it is to enjoy all uh, of your beautiful landscapes and beautiful places and uh, yeah I'm also inviting you here um, we can meet <laughs> you can also stay here with me <laughs> no I'm just kidding um, but yeah I mean I'm really thankful for this opportunity I'm uh, thanking this site uh, to have me live I'm thanking everyone uh, who is here with me today I'm thanking you for all your questions um, I hope uh, I did great and I really hope to um, see you soon maybe to meet you and of course we can stay in touch in social media so if that's it if you don't have any more comments uh, then I will say Goodbye and I hope uh, that we stay in touch. Bye!